This is a Spyderco Sprint Run Domino in CTS 204P. When I got this knife, I was really impressed with it because of the geometry of the blade. It's extremely thin. I measured it with digital calipers. It averages, just behind the shoulder of the bevel, it averages 0.35 millimeters. It ranges 0.33 to 0.38, but in most spots it's 0.35. It's extremely ergonomic and uh, comfortable in the hand. When I sharpened this, I reprofiled it to 30 inclusive and then mirror polished it. So I did it freehand and used the stones from the Spyderco Sharp Maker, the medium fine, ultra fine, and then stropped it. Uh, I noticed with the mirror polish that after very little use, that I got edge deformation, I got blunting on the edge. So I thought maybe I had done something wrong with the sharpening. So I resharpened it, starting again at medium, taking it all the way out to ultra fine, and then stropping it, making it hair whittling sharp each time. Then again, in with very little use, I saw blunt spots on the edge. So I thought maybe it had to do with the finish. Most of the knives that I carry and sharpen and use, I leave a coarse finish on. So I thought maybe it had to do with the mirror polish. So I went to town cutting with it on a, a very large amount of cardboard, cut that up, completely blunted the edge, and then sharpened it again, starting with coarse diamond, coarse diamond rods for the sharp maker, took it out through medium, fine, ultra fine, and then straps. So I wanted to see now with the coarse finish, would that make a difference? So again, I did cutting. I did cutting on cardboard, cut up quite a bit, and noticed blunting on it. And the blunting that I was seeing seemed like it was happening too early. I'm very familiar with S90V and how it holds up, so it seemed like it was happening too fast. I couldn't decide if if what I was seeing was me just judging it wrong or if it was actually blunting quicker than it should or than you would expect it to. So what I decided to do was test the knife. This is a Spyderco Sprint Run Yojimbo 2 and S90V. Also reprofiled the 30 inclusive. Uh, I sharpened both knives on on diamond and ceramic stones. They were both stropped, taking the strops up to a 0.1 micron strop or 200,000 grit, both with a coarse finish. The first test that I did was using about one inch of the blade to go through two boxes, identical boxes, use the same pieces from each box, fairly light cardboard, doing push cuts. The results of that test, that test was broken down into runs. Each run consisted of cutting up one piece of the cardboard. Each knife cut each equal piece an equal number of times. 204P showed edge deformation after the second run, or 67 cuts in. S90V showed edge deformation after the fourth run, or 123 cuts in. Now the runs weren't the same, there was different, a different number of cuts for each run. They're charted here. For the second test, I was using the upper part of the blade closer to the tip. It was heavier cardboard with push cuts. I wanted to tighten up what it was that I was looking at and know when the deformation happened. So with the second test, I was checking each blade after each cut. Each cut was five inches long. The cardboard for the second test is five inches from top to bottom. So after each cut, I would stop and I would check the blade to see what I could see. Now once again, this is, this is looking for visual deformation not so much cutting performance. The results of the second test were 
the S90V had 52 cuts before it showed deformation under a flashlight and the 204P had 16 cuts. I did a third test because uh, I was already there. Oh, well, I noticed that after the second test where the edges were had deformation on them, they were still sharp. They would still shave hair and they would still cleanly slice phone book paper. It wasn't, they weren't doing it very good, but they were doing it. So I, I continued the second test into the third test as a sharpness test. I mean, the edges weren't touched in between tests, so it didn't matter. The third test continued on, and the stopping point was dulling to the point of not shaving arm hair and ripping through phone book paper. And each each knife was checked after each cut. The final results of the third test were S90V, 62 cuts, 204P, 31 cuts. Now keep in mind this is push cutting, it's not slicing. It's push cutting through cardboard. Now if you look at the results, it seems as if the first and second tests, the tests looking for visual blunting on the edge, don't correlate. However, if you look at the charted results for the first test, the edge was checked at the end of the second run, or 67 cuts in. But that test had a wide range of certainty because the edges were because of when the edges were being checked. It's not known during the second run when the blunting became apparent. If it happened at the end of the run, then the two tests don't correlate well. And if that's the case, that could be from an error in the testing process or one or several variables. If, on the other hand, the blunting became apparent at the beginning of the second run, around 40 cuts, then the two tests do correlate. Regardless, the end result for me, for what I wanted to know, is that the 204P does, in fact, blunt faster than, S90, faster than S90V, and as far as push cutting with a coarse edge through cardboard at 30 inclusive, at a very high sharpness, it does not have the same edge retention as S90V, regardless of what you hear said about 204P. Throughout this testing process, I was talking with the Cliff staff. We were having conversations about the test and the steels and different aspects of it. And when all was said and done, I shot the results over to him. And at that point, he said what he thought would be interesting is if I reran the test with ATS-34 or steel in that, in that range, I thought it would be interesting too. This is a Buck Strider collaboration in ATS-34, heat treated by Paul Boss. I reprofiled the edge to 30 inclusive, then sharpened it freehand from coarse diamond out to ultra fine and then stropped it. The strop that I finished with was 0.1 micron diamond compound at 50% concentration, 200,000 grit. When I put this knife through the second test, it took 11 cuts before I started to see blunting on the edge under a flashlight. When I put it through the third test, I got 29 cuts before it stopped shaving hair and cleanly slicing phone book paper. 29 cuts is pretty close to 204P. I was so surprised by the result that I immediately resharpened the knife from coarse diamond out all the way down the tenth of a micron and uh, re-ran the test. And the second time the result was 30. It was 30 cuts.